Good morning, parents. My name is Mrs. Grace and I am Vice Principal at the Sutton Academy. I hope you are all keeping safe and staying well. Once again, we, are, we find ourselves in difficult and uncertain times as our children are being asked to learn at home remotely. Although this is incredibly difficult, as a school and as staff, we are far better placed to provide a high quality remote education for your child. Our teachers have been working incredibly hard to adapt to this new way of working and they are fully committed to providing your child with the highest quality online learning opportunities possible. In order to make sure your child gets the most from these opportunities, it is essential that both you and them understand exactly how to access the support that is available to them every day. This video, along with the letter you have received from Mr Willerton, details exactly what you can expect from us as a school over the coming weeks. The first thing you will need to know how to do in order to access and support your child's home learning is how to log into Satchel One. Satchel One is the online learning platform that we are using to provide our students with remote education. The easiest way to access this is through the Quick Links, Quick Links tab on the school website. If you click on the Quick Links tab, it will bring up the menu and you can see Satchel One is here. By clicking on this, it will take you to the Satchel One login page and the login button is in the corner here. As staff and parents and students, we all have access to Satchel One. For the purpose of this video today, I am going to log in as a student as I would like you to see exactly what your child should see every day when they log into Satchel One to access their online learning. However, as parents, you can also have a login and this will enable you to access an app on a mobile device to monitor the completion and engagement of your child's home learning. It will also allow you to see how they are coping as you will be able to view the feedback that they receive from their teachers. If you do not have access to your login, please just contact us at school and we will be able to provide this for you. Once your child logs in to Satchel One, it will bring up a to-do list for the day. Children should have every day five, to do, five tasks to do, as this is how many lessons they would have if they were in school receiving face-to-face -face education. We have asked our staff to provide students with a lesson online, which will replace their face-to-face -face lesson. These tasks are colour-coded pink, as you can see here. This signals and identifies to the child that this is the replacement online lesson for the face-to-face -face teaching they would receive in school. I have set up a test lesson to show you exactly what this should look like. Once a child clicks on the task, it, ha it will bring up a task description page that looks like this. You can see we have a task description, some other information about the task, resources to help, and also a web link. In the task description, there is a summary of what your child should do that has been written by the class teacher. In the other information section, you will see approximately how long your child should be spending on that task, as well as how your child is expected to submit any work uh, or com completed tasks as a result of that lesson. In the resources to help you slide, there should be a PowerPoint at least. We have asked our staff to upload a PowerPoint which has audio clips embedded into each slide. These audio clips are narrations from your child's teacher or a member of staff in the academy, which details exactly what your child should do. I'm going to show you what this looks like now. If your child downloads the PowerPoint, it will bring up the PowerPoint presentation as so. You will be able to see that audio clips are embedded into the slide because there will be a grey speaker icon, which I will show you now. This grey speaker icon identifies that there is an audio clip embedded into that slide. By hovering over on it, it will bring up a menu like this and your child will be able to play the audio clip from their teacher. The audio clip will be explaining exactly what your child is expected to do. It will also go over key content and learning and if your child is expected to revisit prior learning, it will have explanations of this in two. 
we feel that this is a really useful resource for students to access as it allows them to uh, revisit the audios, pause them while they make notes or repeat them over and over again until their understanding is secured. However, we also recognise that students may have difficulties or still have questions that they need answering. We have asked all of our teachers to submit a web link to a Zoom meeting at the start of each lesson. Your, your child's teacher is in this meeting waiting for your child to, to access this if they need support or help. If your child does have a question or is facing difficulty, all they will need to do is click on this link. They will then need to enter their, their full name as it appears on the school system and they can access their teacher. If they, te if they do not want to show their face, that is fine. They can talk verbally or they can communicate via the chat box. At the moment, not many of our students are accessing this Zoom support. We would encourage your child to do this if they need help. If they complete work before the approximate time, they can also access extension work by following the Zoom link and, re and requesting that from their teacher. As a school, we are working really hard to provide the best remote education for our students. We have done extensive research on the best model to do this. We are looking at implementing live lessons from Wednesday the 11th of January. The research suggests that a full day of live lessons is not appropriate for children. It can become quite monotonous and lead to a decrease in engagement as students are stuck online all day. The research suggests the best model moving forward is a hybrid or a blended approach of online lessons which are live but also hybrid lesson, um, but also pre-recorded lessons as I have detailed here today. Mr Willerton has sent you a letter which has a timetable of the live lessons that will be starting from Wednesday and your child will be, will be able to access a live lesson where they can, they can join a virtual classroom. In the virtual classroom, they will be able to discuss ideas with their peers, have questions asked of them by their teachers and have more engagement and interaction. Your child can access these live lessons in exactly the same way but by following this web link. If your child chooses not to access the live lessons as scheduled with their usual timetable, they can still access the online on demand by following the pre-recorded narrative. I understand this is difficult and it's a new way of working for all of us. However, if you do have any questions, all you need to do is contact school. Every year group has an achievement leader and a head of year who are more than willing to answer questions and provide support and guidance. Myself and the Academy Leadership Team are also available throughout the school day, every day, to support. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you need to.